Lights and Gear is back with another product review and my boxer has returned with a new charger. If you've uh, checked some of the previous reviews from last uh, couple of months you may have seen my boxer actually a couple of times already featured. Well here they go again. Uh, now we did have the my boxer C2 3000 uh, not long ago. That was I believe the last my boxer charger and it is right here and it's been one of my favorite chargers so far and up to date the only problem was that it hasn't been readily available but I did put a um, recent comment uh, to indicate that uh, they it will be available in uh, Amazon very shortly and that may be the same story for the new one we're about to do today since my boxer has uh, guaranteed me or informed me that Amazon is going to be selling all their products. Enough blabber about that. We have the new My Boxer C2 4000 now, which again is um, is an offspring of the 2000, 2000, 4000. Uh, what's the main dis the main difference? You might ask. Basically, it discharges. It really much, pretty much does everything that the, that the 2000 does but this time it's adding a discharge feature. Um, the box has uh, lots of information on it. Of course all the different types of batteries that it will handle and on the back are, is the uh, bits of information here, bits of uh, features and whatnot including uh, the fact that it will automatically save a charging curve on lithium-ion batteries. Um, it automatically activates and repairs zero voltage lithium batteries. Doesn't say if it does that on NIMH. Well the chemistry is different so I, I've, I've never seen a zero volt NIMH battery but I have seen them in lithium-ion. And uh, basically uh, that's it. Um, but you know anyway not to say that that's it for the video because we're now going to take a look at the charger. So here we have the little fella. Basically looks the same as the other version. Uh, in the box is the instruction manual and there is that and there's also a power cord down inside there. US power cord. So um, the manual, again, pretty much looks at everything that uh, we've just looked at, and then some, with uh, all kinds of handy information, of course, all the batteries it supports, and how it automatically uh, does just about anything you need a battery charger to do. Um, so, let's um, take a look at the real thing here. So here you go. Again, it looks similar to the other one, except the buttons are uh, slightly different. The buttons are yellow instead of black. And it has much the same display. It has a good... Um, the spring action here is very good. It handles, again, any type of battery, any size, any width. And you can see that's uh, very similar to the first one. It has a little fan back here for when you discharge. It turns the fan on and monitors the temperature and shows you the temperature of the battery. There's your AC adapter there. All right, so let's put the uh, charger, or rather the uh, cord in. I have another, another adapter right here all set up. So there you go says hello my name is C2 4000 and again any virtually any type of battery you have whether it's a 26650 whether it's an 18650 whether it's a 14500 uh, whether it's a an 18350 I think you get the picture um, here we have a 16340 and finally an NIMH Here's a AAA NIMH. So anything like this will 
will uh, do just fine. And let's um, let's just take a battery here at random. Take the one four five hundred for instance. All right, and uh, well, we can throw another in. Throw throw a uh, sixteen three forty in there too. Okay, so there are your two displays. Obviously, you toggle back and forth between one slot and the other slot. 34% on this one, 68% on this one. Remaining charge time is, is sort of like, you know, they give you the figure, but it changes. So, initially an hour and eight, but it usually goes up and goes down. Uh, there's your NIMH. Um, your NIMH, there's your MAH uh, for the capacity that the battery has received thus far. It's, it's charging at, uh, well, the battery keeps toggling back and forth, you know. Uh, 0.60 amps is the power. It's at uh, 3.94 volts at the moment. Um, and the resistance is 130. And again, it's uh, putting in 0.60 amps. That changes. With the MyBoxer chargers, you do not have the option of changing the um, uh, the current. A lot of other chargers, you can you can select your current, but and I'm pretty sure it's the same with this one. It selects the current and decides, given the uh, given the chemistry of the battery and so forth, it decides which uh, how many or how much uh, current to feed the battery to charge it with. Uh, okay, the display is about to go to sleep here, but um, then of course if I slot the other one, then of course you get the same information, and they do vary. They go up and they go down as the charging commences. Now this one is showing you right now that we're using a lithium-ion battery right there. If I switch that out to an NIMH, then it'll show NIMH. If you want to discharge a battery, you can do that. Right now it's showing you with the down arrow here that it's actually charging the battery and is in charge mode. But if you wanted to discharge a battery, obviously you select whichever slot you want. Actually, let's take out the, um, let me see, let's take out the East Shine. And I'll put in an 18350 here. This one, I believe, had already been charged, but I can show you on the discharge. If I want to discharge this battery in order to check its capacity, which the unit will do, you have to select the slot, and already the slot was on it, so there's slot two. Then you have to hold down the slot until the MAH starts to blink and then press the mode button within a couple of seconds while that's blinking and now the arrows here will indicate that it's going to discharge the battery and then charge the battery so right now it's flashing in the upward direction showing that it's going to discharge the battery and then it would flash in the downward afterwards to show that it's then charging the battery and if you can hear this if you can hear the little fan there the fan just kicked on as soon as it started discharging. And the fan does make a little bit of a noise. It's not silent. And there you go right there. It says that the, uh, this is quite warm actually. It's showing here that it's uh, discharging at 0 0.20 and the temperature is 33 degrees Celsius, which is getting up there, which is about 90, 92 degrees Fahrenheit or so. So that's what it's showing right now. It also says in the manual that if for any reason the temperature reaches 90 degrees Celsius, whoa, that's warm. But if it does happen to reach that astronomical temperature, um, it'll stop charging. Uh, when the temperature, it says when the temperature of the charger exceeds 90 degrees Celsius, the charger will turn on the temperature protection function automa and automatically stop the process of, of charge discharge and charge. The LCD screen display will show ERR and the 90 degrees Celsius um, indicator will be flickering. 
So that's what happens if the battery should get too hot. I have not yet obviously seen that to happen, but this is showing 34 Celsius right now. So obviously this slot is doing that, and if I press it over to the other slot, it's doing a simple charge. It's doing the charge, while this one's doing the discharge. Um, and I believe you can change it while it's already in motion. So here if I press the slot again and hold it until this blinks and then press mode, Oh, yeah, there, it changed. Okay. I'm not sure how, it, how much it appreciates that, but there I did just change it back. So now this is on charge instead of discharge. So that's one neat aspect of being able to change gears if you so desire. The fan is still on, though. I thought the fan might have cut off as soon as I did that, but the fan is still running. But I imagine it will probably shut itself off. But, and there it's only, this battery is almost charged, so it's only showing that it only has seven more minutes to go. Uh, the other slot obviously is going at 79%. This one says 99%. So that's that's the uh, operation of the char. Uh, that's the operation of how to change it from charging to discharge. And uh, I think it does a standard. Uh, it'll charge it first, and then it'll discharge, and then it'll charge it again, and it'll show you the capacity of the battery when all is said and done. And uh, took the battery out and the fan is still going. Okay, well, it'll figure it out soon enough. Um, and if I was to put an NIMH in here, now it's showing NIMH and ICD up in there. There you go, the fan shut off. Um, so there, NIMH is in here, it's showing it's only got 15% power, charging at 0 0.10, and the voltage is 1.27. So, I think you got the gist of this one right now. It's a nice little charger, as I said, the, uh, the C, the, uh, the other one, the 2000, has been, has been one of my favorite chargers ever since I've, uh, received it. And, uh, so, this one has the same features except adding the, uh, discharge function. So again, uh, nice, nice, nice chargers, and they seem to be. Sometimes the accuracy of the um, of the capacity when the battery is finished sometimes leaves me scratching my head. Um, sometimes it does seem to be right on, and other times it seems to be a little off. So I'm not sure how much of an exact science that is. So my boxer. This has been uh, the brand new my boxer. This has been the C24000. Uh, hope you've enjoyed the video. Uh, it was sent to me by my friends at My Boxer to take a look at. Uh, check below to see if the link is there so you can pick one up on Amazon if you so desire. And uh, check out, check it out there. And uh, stay tuned for more videos, batteries, flashlights, and all that at lightsandgear.com. Do thank you for stopping by, and uh, thanks for watching. Have a good one.